What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to live culture phytoplankton and the items that you're gonna to need to do it. All right, so to make your own phyto culture, it's actually pretty simple. All you need is a um, clean, sanitized, uh, type of container. I actually use uh, rubbing alcohol, whoosh it around inside, dump it out, let it dry, uh, make sure there's no smell to it. Just make sure it's completely um, dry. Uh, you need a lid, obviously, to go on the top. You need a light to culture the phytoplankton. You need a um, an air pump. Um, this one has like a little filter on the bottom, so it actually works good. You need uh, F2 fertilizer. Um, there's all different brands out there. This is just one that I got off of Amazon from Aqua LG. Um, I've never tried this one, but we'll give it a shot. And then of course you need some type of phytoplankton. Um, I have a little bit of algae barn ocean magic left, which is like a mixture of live uh, phyto, but I'm sure it's different strands. So normally one strand will outcompete the other when it's a mixture like this, um, but you never know. So I've never used this one before. Normally I just use one strand, but we'll give this a shot and we'll see what happens. Um, I figured I had a little bit left, so I might as well try to culture it and do a video on it. So without further ado, let's get going. Now, obviously the first thing you're gonna need is a container to culture your phytoplankton. I picked this up off of Target for like nine or 10 bucks or something like that. And then all I did was just drill a hole in the top put the standard airline tubing through it. I opted to find a straw that I had kind of in the house. It's just a little bit firmer or acrylic straw that kind of goes around the tubing. All that does is just keep the straw straight so it kind of goes to the bottom of the container. But really, whatever works as long as you're aerating the water and giving oxygen to the water is gonna be fine. Now I know it's frowned upon to kind of use water from your tank, but in my case, I have the water running through my UV sterilizer and I figured I would give this a shot. Normally I just take it from my fresh salt water bin, um, but I did take a couple cups um, from my tank and then I also took the leftover uh, fresh salt mix, um, which was mixed to 1.021, I believe. So it's a little lower than your tank which overall brought it down to where I needed to be. Now the next step, all it is, is to pour in your phytoplankton. Obviously you need to add the fertilizer, which helps culture it. I believe I added one or two milliliters to the amount of water that I had. I believe it was two. Um, and then the next step is pretty simple, man. You put the cover on it, you set it away in a dry kind of area of your house room temperature nothing crazy added a little clamp light that you had from home depot and added a daylight bulb into it and then slowed the bubble rate down just a little bit by pinching the hose so that's pretty much it like comment subscribe and happy reefing keep this culturing for about seven to ten days and you should be good cheers